where we cook and serve with love. I am hoping that you've had a great week and are ready to cook with me today. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to make matoke, which I call matoke delight. Now, for those of you who don't know what matoke is, matoke is the cooking green bananas that we cook here in Kenya. Matoke is full of fiber and the healthy sugars that you need in your body. That's why this green banana is such a delight and a wonderful meal for your family. Now, how I make it amazing is because I do one or two little tricks that make this meal super appetizing. And here are ingredients. We'll be using eight pieces of our green banana. Then we'll be using six pieces of potatoes. Then we'll be using some leftover arrowroots and sweet potatoes, which makes this meal really nice and healthy. We will also be using one red onion that's chopped and diced. Then we'll be using our cooking oil, Elianto. Then we'll be using a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of our sweet sour sauce. We will also be using some salt and our very own Royco Mutuzi mix, which is Kenyan herbs mixed together. And just to give our meal a little oomph, I will be using quarter beef minced beef. And last but not least, you will be needing one tomato for the sauce, chopped up and diced. So let's get cooking. So this is how I start the process of preparing our matoke delight. First and foremost, I wash the potatoes in the sink and the matoke. Then I dry them and I peel off the skin and chop and dice them. Now, matoke does tend to be a bit sticky. So what I do is I put cooking oil in my hands and I rub them on. That means that when I'm done, cutting the matoke, I can wash off the stickiness real easy, like so. Already I have a few pieces that I have removed the skin and it's easier when you work with bowls. So I have a bowl for the matoke, a bowl for the potatoes and a bowl for the leftover sweet potatoes and arrow roots. Here we go. Our matoke is almost done. I'm going to do our potatoes. There we go. Our sweet potatoes and arrowroots will go in last because they are already pre-cooked, but it's nice to have them already chopped and diced and ready to join the party. These are so nutritious. Like you have your fiber, and roots are just full of wholeness and goodness. So go ahead, be patient, chop them and dice them. Then once you get into the cooking, it's easy to just go ahead and do it. What will always take a little bit of time when you're cooking is the preparation. 
and that's why it's nice to be relaxed when you come into the kitchen get into the zone and just enjoy the process sometimes when you're in a big hurry the food doesn't come out as delightful as it should you can always play around with this recipe sometimes even when I have some leftover pumpkin or butter squash I do throw them into this mix and make it even more delightful for those of you who find me a little bit strange with the way I cut stuff I am left-handed so that's why sometimes you wonder what angles is she cutting from it's because I'm left-handed I like to chop the potatoes into halves so go ahead and chop them if you like them in quarters you can go ahead and chop them into quarters like so then I also like to chop the matoke into threes so some like halves or threes I like to do them into threes then you get um, some nice little pieces like this Go ahead and chop all your motake into three and let's start cooking. I like to start as usual with the two tablespoons of cooking oil and my onions. When my onions are a little bit brown, I will add in the minced meat. And the minced meat is ready to go in. Make sure you straight it up a little bit so that it starts to remove the sauces and while this cooks you can put it in low heat so that it doesn't burn but remove the sauces slowly fabulous meanwhile I like to prepare as usual my tomato mix and in here I do have the one tomato chopped and diced then I have one tablespoon of Royco Machuzi mix or our Kenyan herbs. Then I have two tablespoons of the sweet sour sauce. Then I have two tablespoons of the soy sauce and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix all this together and it should be ready in a minute to join the party. And after about five minutes of our minced beef cooking, let's throw in our tomato mix so that even that can begin to remove its sauces. And at this point, I am going to add two cups of water. And after you've put in your two cups of water, it is safe at this point as well to put in the potatoes and the matoke and give it a good 15 minutes to cook together and mix up together. Put in all the matoke and all the potatoes. Cover it up in medium heat for a good 15 minutes and let it Blend in together. Beautiful. There we go. Excellent. Keep turning your matoke around. Wow, it's time to take shape and color. Mm. And the spices are mixing in together. It just looks absolutely fantastic. And if it's spilling over, you can remove the lid and let it continue boiling. Fantastic. Now the beauty with this meal is you have what I call a one pot meal that's just healthy and sumptuous for your family. Believe you me, this meal is absolutely fabulous.
And after 15 minutes, our matoke is done. And so we're going to put in our sweet potatoes and arrow roots for the grand final. Just throw them in like that. These are already pre-cooked, so we'll only give them 10 minutes to absorb into the sauces and make your meal absolutely delightful. Wow, wow, wow. And as you can see, you have a pot that is full of sumptuous food that will comfortably feed eight. And our matoke delight is indeed delightful. Mmm, mmm, smells so amazing and sumptuous. And we are ready to serve. Excellent. Mmm, fantastic. This is just fabulous. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Mm. So let's go ahead and taste our fabulous matoke, which we've worked so hard to make. Mmm, can't wait. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 This is fabulous, delightful matoke, as the name sounds. Honestly, you must include this recipe into your menu for every week. Let me tell you, this recipe, your family will love you for making it at least once a week. And if you like the recipes that I've been churning out every week, Kindly press that subscribe button and the like button and let's meet here every Mondays. And for those of you who don't know, subscribing is free. So go ahead and press that button. And don't forget, the recipe is typed out in the description box down below. So let's meet here every Monday and I do wish you a great week. Bye!